Hey guys, the um, there's a lot to talk about at Calypso. Um, the numbers are in for May. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Uh, this update is going to be a little bit longer than normal. There's a lot I want to talk about, not only with uh, the Calypso condo market in general, but with the condo market overall, uh, considering coronavirus and what's gone on the last 60 days or so. So let me get right to it. Um, if you haven't seen any of our updates on uh, real estate as it relates to pandemic numbers, um, let me show you this. This is a chart that uh, comes from a company called Showing Time. Showing Time, again, for those of you who don't know, is a company that real estate agents and brokers use uh, to schedule a showing appointment. So if someone calls me and wants to see six condos, instead of calling six agents or sending six emails or text messages, I go to Showing Time and that's we communicate that way. Um, what's great about that for us um, trying to understand the real estate market is that we can get a really good sense of how many people are out looking at real estate. And so early on in the coronavirus pandemic, I really wanted to key in on this because we knew that this was going to happen. We knew that there were going to be fewer and fewer showings right away as things really, as we started to see that the um, extent of what was happening, we knew people, less people were going to look at real estate. Um, what I was interested to see or watch was this part. We didn't know and we really didn't know in March, if you think about it, we had no idea what normal would look like again or when anything like that would happen. Um, and so I, I wanted to key in on people getting out and looking at real estate because it's going to be the earliest sign I could find of the, the market recovering. Because if, if you just track closings and how many closings are happening, you're always about 30 or 45 days behind what's actually happening because – to have a closing, obviously you need a contract. A contract usually takes about 30 or 45 days to actually close. Well, what has to happen before you have a contract? People need to get out and look at real estate. They need to see it. So um, we were encouraged to see and a little bit surprised to see that as early as April, early April, a lot of people really started to get out and look at real estate. And this happened really quickly. If you think about how dramatic this is, at one point we were something like there was an 80% spread when you compared this year with last year, 80% fewer showings happening or, or less showing activity. Um, and look at where we are today in the state of Florida. We're right at about even. In fact, uh, we, had, we had a little, yeah, one, one or two days where we actually surpassed last year. So um, the market, there's a lot of activity in the market, much more activity than it was a couple of months ago. Uh, we also started tracking the number of new contracts written. So we started the earliest part of the process. How many people are looking at real estate? When we see that moving up, we know that's a good sign. So the next thing to see is, are those people getting out and actually buying anything? Do they feel good enough to make a move? Um, so we knew the condo market, which is the red line here. Uh, well, we didn't know we were tracking. So um, early in the, in the uh, pandemic, Again, not surprising, we started to see fewer and fewer condo contracts written. We were a little surprised to see early April, we actually had a bump up uh, with some closings happening, but then it kind of fell back down. Then, along with that showing curve, with more and more people looking at real estate, we started to write more and more contracts. We were still 0% or when we're, we're comparing this year over year to the year before, so 0% is here. Um, we're still behind. We were still lagging behind, still lagging behind in the condo market, but we're catching up. We're making progress uh, on catching up to the market of where it had been last year. And we finally last week broke into the positive for the first for the first time after being down as much as 79 percent on writing new contracts in any given week. We were actually up two percent last week when you compared it to the same time the year before. So. If you look at the real estate market, remember this chart um, is an important thing to understand. Again, the red line represents the number of units for sale. The black line represents the number of closings that are happening. Here we're looking at um, the entire condo market, just the new, the newer buildings. So anything built since about 2006, because um, comparing it with the older, the older buildings is really a different market. Um, so we know, and we've talked about this a lot since 2018, Almost month over month, we've added units for sale. Um, basically, we're more units um, were added to the market than sold. So maybe in a given month, we can look at the numbers. You know, in a given month, uh, 28 new properties came up for sale. There were 35 sold. But look, when you get into here, into 2019, 2020, you see, well, there were 30 sold, but 43 came to the market. 38 sold, 50 came to the market. So that's where that red line starts to creep up and creep up 
of how many units are for sale. And remember, 2018, we were scorchingly hot. This months of inventory number, remember, five or six months of inventory always represents a neutral market. We were in scalding hot territory um, in 2018. And as this red line moves up, you're adding supply to the market. The market slows down a little bit. But like real estate often does, it slows down. Very, the, the, the market moves very slowly. And we, we cooled off slowly, but we cooled from scalding hot to still very strong seller's market through most of really 2019 into early 2020. Early 2020, pre-pandemic, uh, we touched neutral market territory. So that just means, you know, the sellers don't have any great advantage in the negotiation. Buyers don't either. It's just kind of a, as normal of a real estate market as it gets. But the last couple months, obviously, with fewer sales and some more units coming to the market, we've dipped way into um, buyer market territory, very cool market, not as many sales. Um, obviously, May was a little better than April. Both of these months... Um, are, are reporting before really the vacation rental ban was lifted. So many buyers for the condos come from other places. Um, when the vacation rental ban was in place, even though you started to see that showing time, those showings coming out and happening, more of that was happening in the, re the traditional residential market where people just needed a home to live in. Um, it'll be very interesting in June to see this number move from all the activity in May because um, there are a lot of condo contracts that have been written in the last couple of weeks, which is encouraging. Um, if you look just at the Calypso market, and this does not include Tower 3, um, this is just looking at inventory levels inside of the resales on the Gulf. Um, we, again, that, read, that, that trend sort of uh, followed the overall condo market. More and more units have been added for sale. Although there's been a little run, uh, there's fewer, fewer units uh, come down since uh, the end of 2019. Some units have come off the market and just not got back on. Um, sales have really struggled at Calypso. If you look at just the column of just the number of sold listings, uh, and you only had a couple months where you had five sales in all of 2019. We had plenty of years where we've had six and eight and 10 sales in a month. Uh, look at since December. One sale in December, one sale in January. We had five in February, uh, one in March, one in April, zero in May. Um, not terribly surprising about April and May because of coronavirus, but if you look at these last uh, six months, um, it's really telling a big, an interesting story in Calypso, and this is not including the inventory or the supply from Tower 3. If you threw that into this, it would really kind of go off the charts, but uh, look at how slow the market is in Calypso. Um, 33 months of inventory, 34 months, 32 months, 28 months. That's an extremely, extremely sluggish sluggish market. Um, a few reasons potentially that could be happening. Uh, I think maybe generally speaking, um, units are a little overvalued in Calypso. People are, are, are asking a little bit high uh, for where the market is. Uh, I think on the buyer side of things, people are generally a little bit nervous about Calypso just because of the unknown. Um, what I like to say, if you're if you own a stock in a company, a very successful company, and they change that they announce that they change the CEO. It's very common that the stock price takes a hit short term. Everyone's going to be scared of ooh, what what's next? They were so good, and you're taking the leader away. What's going to happen? And that that unknown or or uh, question about what the future may hold um, gets people nervous. And if the company still does well, people sit back, watch, um, and if things go well, that stock price can recover. I sort of expect the same thing to happen in Calypso. I think there's a big unknown right now with Tower 3. How is, how is that going to affect the rental market, the sales market in Calypso? And, and I don't think anybody has an answer for that. A lot of questions about what's parking going to be like, what the amenities are going to be like, how's it going to rent, uh, where are values finally going to land once the developer sells and closes, what does the price look like, what is the hotel next door, all those question marks. Um, make it a little more challenging for a buyer to come in and feel confident in what they have, especially in an environment when that has a few other unknowns in it as well. Um, I sort of, I expect long-term uh, Calypso to be just fine. Uh, the, lo the location is superior to really anything uh, 
in my, from a rental standpoint, being close to Pier Park. Um, that being said, I know that's a lot, but uh, looking forward, um, if you're selling, we, I say this every year, um, if you're selling a condo and you, it's a condo that you rent and your instincts are to um, uh, put it up for sale at the end of rental season, Know that that's a very common way of thinking. Hey, I want to get past all my heavy revenue and then I'll sell it. But remember, selling it doesn't happen overnight. Um, September and October can be very good months for closings. Um, there are a lot of people that want to buy but can't, that don't buy in June and July because the units are so, are, are rented and it's really busy and it's hard to see units to decide on what to purchase. Um, so think about this. If you are thinking about selling in 2020, um, get ahead of – don't wait until Labor Day to put it up for sale. Start having conversations now, in, at least by end of June, early July, releasing something to the market before a potential rush of inventory comes later in the season. It generally does. Um, it probably Calypso a little bit of an X factor too is, is tower three and when it actually closes and what happens there. Um, we're already fighting a little bit of some supply because there's units for sale across the street. Um, and if you think anything potentially volatile could happen in the third quarter or fourth quarter economically, if you think that, um, uh, presidential elections can cause some volatility in markets, if you think, uh, there's a possibility of a coronavirus uh, flare up in the fall. If you think that um, economic numbers from coronavirus are going to start being reported in a few months and are going to look worse and maybe freak out markets. If you think of any of those things that could potentially slow real estate, then I think it's even more important to get ahead of things and uh, put your unit up for sale earlier. Um, and again, you know, a, a, a unit that goes up for sale late June and July in a, in a normal market, remember Calypso is pretty slow right now, um, still is going to take at best 30 days to close from whenever you get a contract. You might get a contract very quickly. Um, so, but even still, say you got a contract on July 4th, um, you likely wouldn't be closing until, until sometime in August. And so all that revenue from June and July would still be uh, in your pocket. And you might miss a few weeks at the end of August, but you're ahead of this rush of inventory that comes in. Something to think about if you if you are thinking of selling 2020, um, the third and fourth quarter to look a little bit of a, like a gray area. So, and especially Calypso is a little sluggish right now compared to the rest of the market. Uh, make sure if you're putting it out there, you know you've got really great marketing. Um, good pricing is important right now. Uh, buyers are looking around; they're a little bit picky. Um, very possibly any of the buyers that are looking at a resale have also looked at the new product across the street and um, we all like new and we all like um, uh, and on top of that decorating trends have changed dramatically since 2006 so if you have a unit that um, hasn't had many updates to things especially like countertops or flooring or cabinets since then um, the condos are starting to feel much older than they really are. They're starting to feel dated when you put it up against new. When you start comparing the last couple of years, if someone looked in Calypso and also looked in Tidewater and Aqua and Splash, um, they didn't, you felt you were comparing similar um, uh, feels in design. Unless someone had really just completely renovated a unit, most of the units felt similar. But now that you have some new product in the market, um, dated is starting to feel that much more dated. So make sure um, you're putting your best foot forward in condition. Pricing is very important right now in a sluggish market. Um, hopefully this guy gives you guys some things to think about. Uh, I know it's a lot. Um, next month will be a, a little bit shorter, but I just want to give you some sense of Calypso and the overall market. Hope this helps you guys. Be well. Talk to you next month.